Hi everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing and testing out the Hypershell Exoskeleton. Now this thing is apparently supposed to be able to offset your weight by up to 30 kilograms and has a battery life of up to 17.5 kilometers. So it can basically make it easier to hike long distances. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll get out of the box and see how it works. I like the packaging in the little suitcase here. That's pretty nice. Always like it when you have this sort of reusable, you know, storage container that, that a product like this actually ships in. It protects the product and then you can reuse it. Like then, there it is. I think we get a better look inside the box. Pretty slick looking. A USB charging cable there. I like that it charges via USB-C. That means I can probably carry along uh, external batteries, just battery banks, and recharge it using that. You can, it, you can also uh, get extra batteries. I believe it only comes with the one. I'm, I'd have to check that out. Actually, if I was in the box. In the box. Oh, this comes with two batteries in the box. That, that's pretty nice. So, yeah. Batteries actually aren't that heavy. I was expecting that to be a lot heavier, and it's not. That's nice. Let's see. It has instructions on the thing itself. Remove protection cover. Insert battery into hip lever. up like that. Oh, the user manual is down there. Check that out first. So there are three different versions of this. The Hypershell Go X, the Hypershell Pro X, and the Hypershell Carbon X. Uh, so, yeah. So I've got the Pro X. I do need to download an app, it looks like, so I'll probably have to do that. And we'll continue on with the rest of the video afterwards. But uh, looks pretty straightforward, actually. It's not a really complex thing. A good instruction manual, actually. Let's see. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna charge this up. I'm gonna get the app installed, and we're gonna test it out. We got the battery charged. It should be ready to go here. Hit start. Uh, it's fully charged. The battery. Yep. Um. Well, now I've got to tell it how fat I am <laughs> and how short I am, which I'm not going to be sharing with anyone else here. It's going to have me uh, slide tubes outward to the suggested width as shown. Okay, there we go. And tighten the clamp securely. Okay, got that. Put it on and buckle up the hip belt. Okay, that part's on. Just leg levers. Keep both legs upright and place the front leg straps up on the front of your of the thighs. All right. <laughs> <laughs> feels very weird. It actually, I mean, I, I think I have it adjusted right. I can always re readjust it later. Oh, I'm buckled leg, leg, leg strap. I guess I had already did that. <laughs> Power on. Click once, then immediately long press until, you, until four, four pipes will zoom in sequentially. Okay, so the, the power process on is just about the same as with a DJI drone, which is interesting. You are now you are in eco mode. Green LEDs providing adaptable power and moderate activities. Take a stroll in a safe area to, to feel the power adjusted to your, to your pace. Whoa, yeah, it's working. That's a strange feeling. Like it's not—it's not actually as dramatic 
as I thought it might be. It doesn't feel like it's controlling me, but I can feel, I can definitely feel it like picking up my legs. I walk around. I wonder. <laughs> that is unusual. Okay. A transparent mode, single click, the control button, switch between transparent mode, which pauses assistance, and eco mode. Okay, then you just turn it off with a click of a button. That's what that's that meant. Transparent mode essentially goes into standby. Okay, and then I'll turn it back on like that. Ooh, hyper mode. Uh, hold it down for two seconds. Okay, now it's in hyper mode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really just feels like I have a lot more energy than I would normally have. Like, holy, holy, that's not cool. <laughs> it's actually quite surprising how well it works, and it doesn't feel like it really restricts my movement at all. I mean, in hyper mode, I definitely feel it, it's a bit more eager to assist me, but it's still, I don't feel like it's going to throw me around. <laughs> Dogs. Uh, okay, go back to eco mode. There are four power levels under eco and hyper mode. That's gonna make me want to watch an advertisement. So anyway, uh, we're gonna go out and test it a whole bunch more. I can actually go for a walk with this thing on. Uh, but I'm gonna cut it here because I think my camera's running out of batteries. And yeah, this thing's pretty cool so far. <laughs> like just, just uh, this, this little test here, I think it really does make a huge difference. It's pretty, it, it's pretty cool. Okay, on to the next bit. So now I've got my mother here testing it out. She's gonna go running up and down the hill. We're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's powered on now. So you can walk around and see how it works. <laughs> okay, walk back up the hill. <laughs> well, what do you think? What do you think? I think I have to get used to it. <laughs> I need to walk a little more. I feel like I'm a little more natural. Difference between going down and up. And that's in the fifty percent power uh, eco mode.
Yeah. Hold the button down on the side to find out. <laughs> or do you prefer not to right now? I think this one's a little loose. It feels like it's slipping. Yeah, you do really want to have them tight. That's kind of what I was experiencing. I don't know, you can if you like. For two seconds. Yep, now it's in uh, the extra power mode. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more uh, reactive. Better if I take longer strides. It's very possible some more adjustments need to be made to it, you know, for your specific size. We were kind of vague on that. We set it up here. This is interesting. Well, I suppose uh, that was a pretty good first test of it. Um, <laughs> I really got to use, I think, use it over a longer uh, uh, trip, I think, to really get a better idea of how it affects um, your overall endurance or something. <laughs> Takes some getting used to, yes. All right. Okay. Well, that's the end of this first impressions video, I believe. I really like it. Uh, my mother um, is going to take some more getting used to it, I think. Uh, but it's cool. It is very cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you'll see you all again next time. Bye.